I like how this just winds. Da -da 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 -da, Paco. Greetings! Welcome! Hello! I'm the Incredible Paco and welcome back for some more Super Mario Maker 2. In today's episode, we are going to be playing Super Credit Fraud World. So I believe this game is 3 worlds, 15 exits, and uh, I'm really excited to play. Credit Fraud is a good bud of mine. Uh, I know he makes really fun stuff. And level 1 is Timeless Voyage. Uh, also, even though Credit Fraud is a good bud of mine, uh, I still would not, you know, send him my social insurance number, mother's maiden name, you know, all, all that stuff. You know, our, our friendship has limits. It has limits. Alright, cool first setup. I dig it. Even throwing in a reset door. How kind. Wow! Wow! Okay, so I just noticed that I'm only starting with 30 lives. I do not want to game over. I have not game over yet on a super world. And I don't want to start today. Cool. <laughs> so I could have went a bit lower and got the last one up. I preferred to play it safe. So before we go on to the next level, I just wanted to thank Popium. Right as I was starting up my recording, uh, Popium subbed with their Twitch Prime and said, Through you my Prime, probably won't use Twitch but watch your YouTube stuff all the time. So wanted to throw some love. See ya bud. Uh, thank you very much Popium. I appreciate it. Um, let's check if this is catch and win. Oh, it's catch and win. Alright, I'll finish the thought after this. Okay, three in a row, four in a row, five in a row, six in a row, make it seven, bang, eight, what, dude, I jumped, I jumped, come on, come on, but yeah, if you're confused what Twitch Prime is, if you have Amazon Prime and you link it with your Twitch account, you get one free sub every month. And I, again, thank you very much, Popium, as it is on to level two. Jack of Diamonds. Alright, so we've got an SMB1 theme. That was, that was pretty cool. Although, oh, I want to bonk it right first. So I think last time I let it go ahead, yeah, that makes sense. So, walk it like this, perfect. Okay, so then weave in, duck, awesome. You, you can never go wrong with SMB1 platforming, in my opinion. I, I feel like sometimes people really struggle when they're making levels because they're trying to make something like super crazy. Uh, fun jumps, fun setups, like, you, you can never go wrong with this. Okay. Ooh, that's tight! That's tight! That's tight, but that's the end. Alright. Yo, I, I don't know, I, I really like the pacing of these levels so far. No, so I tried to do, like... A hard swing, right? I, I need to just like barely weave around. Or I could come in from the left hand side. Cool. That should be good. Yes. Wow. Wow. I missed the muncher by like this much. Can you have multiple catch and win per world? That is the question. Because if I knew- Oh, it's match and win. If I knew if there was only one per, I would stop going into these bonus rooms. I'm catch and winner best. But I guess I'll take the 5-1 ups. Level 3. Looks like it's gonna be underwater airship? King's Road. No, not underwater. I 
For a second I was like, yo, is that a semi-solid or am I gonna look like an idiot crashing into that? Fortunately, it was a semi-solid. Alright. Is there more momentum? Perfect. You cannot go wrong with platforming. It's, it's impossible. You just can't do it. So just like all the videos where I've been doing Super Worlds, I will put the ID for this world in the description. So if you want to play, uh, it'll be there. And if you do play, let me know how it goes. Level 4. Breakdown. Alright. I did not expect that. For some reason, I thought I was going to bounce on the spring. But I guess that's why the ghost is there. To prevent that. Nice. Oh! Oh! Okay. Instinctively, I wanted to avoid the shell. I think I just got to use that for the bounce and the bob. Okay. Nice. Wait a second. Do I bounce? Mr. bob to the left, or what am I doing there? For some reason, I was like, oh, there's a sideways spring, everything will be okay. And uh, it just wasn't. I really like these jumps off of the stump. Although... Hold on, let's think, let's think what's going on with this setup. I think I want to maybe knock one to the left, one to the right. We'll find out next time. No, that's not the play. That's not the play. I think I want to bump... I want to bump both to the left. And then the first one I want to knock to the right for the second coin. And then the last one that comes in will probably get me up and over. What? How do both of them miss? How do both of them miss? Oh, there we go. So it was just Tiny Hop. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Missed it. Got it, missed it. I don't get, like... Alright, let's see if I can get this part at least. No. No. I don't understand why sometimes it's, like, overshooting. Oh, there we go. I understand. I understand. That is... My fault for not getting it before. I, I can't seem to get this door thing either, though. Cool. Okay, so go now. This is good. This is good. Perfect. All right, I see the timing for that too. Give me these one-ups. Give me that. Woo! So I know it was only a few minutes ago that I was like, oh, I'm not going to be playing these other bonus games. Disregard my previous statements. Pop and win. Only one one up? Come on. All right, world one four. Let's go. Restless Citadel. Okay. All right, we got one of these tricks. Wait, 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 wait. How do I actually, how do I bump it? Do I need to go from below with the coaster? Probably, yeah, something like that. That is really cool. That's a really cool setup. Alright, got the momentum. Kick it, trust it, go. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. We got one shot. One opportunity. We didn't let it slip. Woo! All right, world one is done. On to world two. Dreamscape. So there was a fish on it. Is this gonna be underwater? No. All right. There's the fish at least there. Cool. So that one's multiple bounces. Everything else is kind of like go, go, go. So I assume hold right. Makes sense there. This level is really funky. It's funky in all the right ways. All right, so that's the ending tape. Cool. Also, it looks like World 1 was SMB1. We're now on to SMB3, and if I was to guess, World 3 is going to be Super Mario World. I can't do it, though. All right. For some reason, I thought it was hold right. We got a sub world to go to. All right, so just remember, get a bit of momentum. And then miss the pipe. I, I really like how the fish are being used on this level. That's a, that's a nice touch. Wait, what am I missing? Like, I'm not even close to the height. Does something come? Okay. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. So it's not actually a vertical pipe entry. It's one of these. Okay. Should be good? Alright, so you just need like full momentum, just like the previous jump. Woo! Seven lives, we got a few bonus games. Alright, catch and win? Match and win, that's fine, that's fine. I could use the five one ups. There we go. I thought to myself, I was like, yo, I said that way too confidently. I'm gonna botch it. Everybody's gonna laugh. Well, fortunately, I got it. All right, piranha plant level. The levee breaks. Understood. Some more to the right. Okay, didn't think I was gonna get that. All right, so in my head as I'm approaching these setups, I keep saying to myself like, I know it's gonna work, but how is it gonna work? And then, you know, once I hit it, it becomes glaringly apparent. Let's bounce off him. Then bounce off the shell, take out Piranha Dude. All of these jumps are butt clenchers. They are all butt clenchers. So no pull back, hold right, down to four lives. I'm pretty sure if I game over, nothing happens. I, I mean, I just don't want to game over though. It's, uh, it's the principle. In we go! In we go! Okay, that was mucho one-ups. I kept going back and forth in my head on whether I wanted to throw it or just hold on. Good thing I held on. Bonus game. Catch and win. Wow! Who misses the first pitch? How embarrassing! Unbelievable. Okay. 
One one up. I still can't believe I missed the first one. Okay, looks like looks like we got a water world. No reflection. Alright, I'm gonna assume I need it. Yes. So that was a, a really good first attempt. Can't believe I went into the muncher. Okay, so grab the spring. Drop it. That's neat how the music note actually changes its direction. What am I- what am I doing? Oh, is there gonna be a vine in there? Was that supposed to hit the question block? We'll never know. We'll never know. Can't catch, can't pitch, can't seem to do anything. No, so that's just a fish. It's a fish, so... Shell jump, and as it's coming down, jump through to the goal. Four lives to get it. Three lives to get it. I can't seem to get it. Like, I'm, I'm hitting the block, I'm just not getting the jump. Down to one! Down to one! I can't believe my first game over is gonna be on Super Credit Fraud World. First, he burns my shirt. Then he games me over. That was so close! That was so close! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Although, it doesn't really do anything again outside of the shame. I wish if you got a game over, it sent you back to, you know, level 1 in that world. That would be a cool penalty. But Nintendo was like, nah, we can't do that. We can't do that. Game over screen, and then, you know, put them... Put them back where they were before, give them more lives. That's not the Mario games I grew up with. So this is the second level where I got caught up in a setup. I feel like once I do it once, I'll be able to replicate it. There we go. It's all I had to do. It's all I had to do. So since Nintendo doesn't punish me, I've been considering my own punishments. Like every time I game over, I have to play a troll level. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What do you guys think about that? As, what's this going to be? Pumping one? Oh, popping one. Only one one up again? Unbelievable. All right, ghost house time. Static chamber. Okay. That was pretty fast. Okay. I was ready for it that time. Whoa. That's a bummer. So, key door up top, got it. I'm usually pretty good at those, like, duck, unduck. Ooh. I'm ready this time. Alright, get me back to the duck, unduck, and I got this. Here we go. <laughs> Technically, that wasn't a lie. I did the duck unduck. You know, I never promised anything about after the duck unduck. There we go. Okay, up. Spray both, just because we can. Woo! 
World 2 Fort? Crossbones Stronghold. Alright. And then that is a shell jump. Okay, shell jump. I'm gonna guess a winged mushroom comes out. Okay. Oh, so I was wrong. That's a sideways, sorry, that's just a regular spring. I assumed it was gonna be a damage boost, but... Looks like it's something else. Although, I probably need to like, bring it with me. Yep. Oh, what's this? What's this? There we go. There we go. That was a bit spooky. Didn't, didn't expect that, dude. So this is officially the home stretch. Five exits remaining. On the edge. Also, we've moved into Super Mario World. Get ready for some owats. Assuming I beat the levels. All right, there we go. What? I guess chuck him spin jump over. Something like that, yeah. I feel like the pumpkins are an underrated addition to Mario Maker 2. Like, nobody ever talks about them. What did I do wrong last time? Yeah, how do I... How do I spin jump so that it's farther to the right? This level's not hard. I'm just finding, like, every possible way to screw up. Like, there! There, I, I hadn't hit that muncher yet. Okay, that worked. Okay, I wasn't expecting the ending, but I'll take it. Ow, what? All right, bonus stage. I really want catch and win redemption. Hop and win. All right, better give me more than one one up. Give me more than one, yes. Yes. That should help with not game overing. Okay. Bittersweet Symphony, and uh, it should be a ghost house. Shoutouts to the Verve. Alright, so hold right. Conveyor's gonna help me get ahead. Mostly understood. Mostly. Okay. Trust it. What am I doing? So, right, right, down below. I like how this just lines. Okay. So, up. All right, I'm just gonna let go of jump and hope it works. Didn't work. It's looking like a potential second game over. I, I thought I was out of the woods after the five one-ups. I am struggling on this setup here though. Wait, how do I do it? All right, down to one life again. I had zero game over screens up until this point. 
I might get my second one. And we're not even done. I... I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, that worked, that worked. What do I do now? Oh, okay. One final move. Okay. Yes, yes, get me out of here. Get me out of here. How? What? The goal for the game, no more game overs. Uh, I'm setting the goals real low. Let's do a bonus game. Match and win. Okay. Oh no. I mean, even if I get it, this is considered a loss. All right, looks like, looks like another fort. Runaway. I feel like all of the names in World 3 have been named after songs. That's a spin. And that's a, uh, that's a moderately fast track. This world has been really fun. Only suggestion I would make, I would have it start with like 50 lives instead of 30. But other than that, the levels have been really, really good. Woo! Okay. Maybe I want to time a bit of a later jump there. Okay, so wait just a little bit. No, I waited too much. That's the goal. That's the goal. All right. Now that I've seen the goal, Pretty sure, pretty sure we're gonna beat it on this wreck. Pretty, pretty sure. Ow, what? Oh, that was not a good owl, why? One final catch and win. If I, if I miss the first pitch again, I'm just, I'm done. Whew. That wasn't a sinker? That's a sinker. Fork ball. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I want to edit this out, but I know Editor Paco's not going to let it slide. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Seventh District. Ooh, that's a shell jump again. That's a shell jump again, and then I gotta use the Koopa Dude, bump the shell, got it. Huh. Okay. I'm like 99% sure that I'm doing this properly. I just have to nudge it like that. Got it. Got it. Okay, so then bonk dude to the right, catch shell. Okay, so bounce, bounce. Oh, actually I went up. I went up in lives, nice. <laughs> as long as I keep getting back to that sequence, I can start farming one-ups. 
And that is game over number three. The goal for the game, no more game overs. Uh, I'm setting the goals real low. Set them even lower next time. Okay, so bop it. Maybe good? Yes, definitely good. So it took a bit to get here, but we are finally on the last level. 37 lives. Snake Eyes Tower. So that's a double bounce. Okay, bounce, bounce, go. Uh, no matter what, if a thwomp is in the lava, it's gonna go slowly, whether it's parachute or no parachute. Okay. I was getting ready to pick that up. All right, so now I know, just go to the right. Perfect. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I was like, yo, did I still need Mr. bob -omb? Okay, understood. It's actually a pretty neat setup. So drop it. What? All right, relax, credit fraud. Relax, bud. There we go. I was half expecting a Bowser, but you know, a triple, triple Mecha Koopa stack, pretty intimidating. Never thought I would get here, but yo, super credit fraud world, defeated. Here it comes! Oh yeah!